The achievements of Team Singapore at the Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games have been celebrated in Parliament. At the same time, MPs have been told about how the National Paralympic Council is working to secure better cash awards to para-athletes competing in major games. Li Ying reports. A standing ovation to honour the athletes who competed in Tokyo. Earlier, Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong noted that a few MPs had asked if more can be done to reduce the disparity in cash rewards between able-bodied athletes and para-athletes. For individual events, a Paralympian gold medalist currently gets $200,000. An Olympic gold medalist gets $1 million. But that could change. Mr Tong explained that the two award schemes are entirely funded by private sponsors. Individually, each scheme is tiered based on the standard, size and field of competition for each major games. However, The difference in cash quantums does not reflect how government values our para-athletes via our able-bodied athletes. In our eyes, they are all Team Singapore athletes and each athlete, able or disabled, has his or her own intrinsic value, which we value, recognise and appreciate. The Paralympic Council says it faces challenges in securing sponsors because they have a shorter history than the Olympic Council. But it's hoping that on October 16, on the night of the Athletes Achievement Awards ceremony, it can announce that it has much improved cash rewards for its athletes. If we can bring it up to that one million, we will be able to say that we have achieved equity, we have achieved parity. But until we get there, we try and do the best for our athletes. That, you know, however much we can raise, we will make sure, you know, that they are acknowledged. So my, my take to the public is don't just make noise. If you truly, truly believe in what you're saying, then put your money where it's worth. Swim queen Yip Pin Shu will be given a new President's Award for Inspiring Achievement. This is to recognise Singaporeans who have overcome personal adversity and lead inspiring lives. Yip won two gold medals in Tokyo. She has five gold in total. Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung met with Yip Pin Shu and other Team Singapore athletes. He says he's proud of all Olympians and Paralympians for flying Singapore's flag high in Tokyo. They have adapted, persevered and gave their best for the country and have shown that dreams are worth striving for. It's a long time coming. That's how Yip Pin Su describes the move to reduce the disparity in cash rewards between able-bodied athletes and para-athletes. This is a conversation that happens once every four years uh, whenever the Olympics and the Paralympics come about. So this time it feels like the needle is moving and I'm, I'm grateful for people who recognise and, and they are trying to say that equality should be shown towards um, uh, the Paralympians and the Olympians. And I think every small step forward is, uh, is a step forward regardless of, of, of how big or small it is. So I'm really, really excited for it to be happening this year.